Smarties! I am here with your reading lesson and phonics lesson. Um, we are going to get started right away um, on our phonics lesson. So, we are going to be talking about suffixes. That's a tricky word, suffixes. Suffixes and prefixes this week. Okay, today we're just going to focus on suffixes. What is a suffix? Where does it happen in a word? And then our um, song that we have for our phonics lesson um, has several uh, words that have a suffix ending um, within the song. So, suffixes. Here we go. A suffix, okay, is an ending. It goes at the end of a, of a root word. So, you can see here, we have several examples of suffixes. We have full, we have less. We have er, and we have lee, okay? We have full, less, er, and lee. They come at the end of a root word, okay? So, let's look at this word right here. You have your root word that I underlined in red, care. Then you add full, and you get careful. Careful, okay? Please be careful when crossing the road, okay? Here you have your root word again. What's your root word? Help. Plus your suffix, again full, you get helpful, helpful. Okay, thank you for being so helpful um, to, mm -hmm, to your sister. Or thank you, you are being helpful when you pick up your toys or when you pick up your bedroom. Okay, you're full of help. You're full of care. Okay, so... That is one suffix, example. Here you have less. Again, your root word. Okay, think. Harm plus your suffix, less, equals harmless. Harmless. Okay, that means something is harmless. That snake is harmless. It's not, okay, less is the, it's not harmful. Okay, it's not going to harm you. It's harmless less harm, okay? So they have meanings. The suffixes have meanings. Less, again, that is our suffix we're working on. So here you have, uh-oh, you have that naughty E reaches over, P pinches O and makes O say, oh, so you have your root word, hope, less, hopeless, hopeless, okay? Then we have another suffix, er, er. E-R-R. -er. So here's your root word. Talk plus er equals talker, talker. Okay. Um, that toddler is quite the talker. Um, meaning they are full of talk. They're just going to keep talk, 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 talk. Um, or it's a, a talker. Um, I don't want to say a profession, but like, for instance, let's look at this one. This is a little easier one to explain. You have sing. Plus your suffix, er, equals singer. Singer, the act of singing, okay? They are a singer. That is what they do. So that one's a little easier to explain. Then you have the suffix, lee, L-Y, lee. So you have your root word, big one, blend, sweeties, hunk and chunk, smooth, plus lee equals smoothly, smoothly. Okay, that play went smoothly yesterday. Um, then we have our root word quick plus your suffix lee equals quickly, quickly. Okay, the act of being quick, the act of being smooth. I'm adding that ly suffix. Okay, so that is your phonics lesson. Um, please remember, and some of those actually phonics pages. Um, that I sent out have work with suffixes and prefixes. So I know this is new. Um, what is a suffix? So we learned that these are just some examples. There are a lot of other suffixes out there. These are just four examples. Full, less, er, and lee. So when you're reading today, okay, because don't forget part of your reading lesson is to read for 20 minutes, um, 15 to 20 minutes. Look for words that may have a suffix full, less, er, lee, and see if you can spot them. Um, in your book. But we are going to go over to our phonics song. 
um, that has to work, uh, it has words in it that have suffixes. So, I'm going to bring you, oh no, I forgot my chair. Okay, here we go. Remember we listen first? And to the, the, oh, it's to the tune, Eatsy Weensy Spider. You must have heard about my spider incident yesterday. Here we go. Listen first. Listen to this song. It is called Bat Reader. Follow along. Skillful, careful reader can smartly read a map. Find the right street, it really is a snap. So don't be careless, go slowly, take it slow. Be a careful, skilled map reader, you'll know the way to go. Ooh, that's fast. Okay, I hope you're ready. Listen again and chime in. A careful, careful reader can smartly read a map. Find the right street, it really is a snap. So, so don't, don't be careless, go slowly, take it slow. Be a careful, skilled map reader, you'll you know, know the way to go. go. We will do it again tomorrow. If you want to do it again now, you can always go back in the video and sing it again. Um, there are some words in that song, Map Reader, that have suffixes. See if you can spot those words and um, spot the suffix. What is the suffix and then what is the root word and then put it together. All right. We are going to go on to our big book. Um, this is actually our last big book. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Um, this is actually our last unit. We have one more week in our Reach for Reading, and then we have finished all of our books. So we are doing our last book, big book today, um, and it's called Larry. I think Larry Gets Lost in Seattle. So Larry Gets Lost in Seattle. Um, but before we do that, your question of the day, still working with maps, is what are some, what are some times when you might need to use a map? So yesterday was, what would happen, okay, what's your plan if you were to get lost in a city that you've never been to, okay? That was your question yesterday, which is going to go along with our big book today. Poor Larry gets lost in a big city and he's never been there. Um, but when might you use a map? What do you think? When might you use a map? So kind of think about that. Keep that in the back of your brain when we read our big book. Um, also... Let's figure out, oh, we're not going to summarize, someone want to but so then, but I want you, when I'm reading the big book today, I want you to see if you can identify, meaning if you can recognize the problem in the story, which is perfect because today in writing, we talked about the problem within our fictional writing, our stories that we're going to create. Um, in writing. So today we did the problem for writing and now I want you to see if you can identify the problem um, within the story that I'm about to read. So that is your that is your task today is to identify the problem in the story. Sorry. All right, here we go. Larry gets lost in Seattle. There's Larry. Oh no. So what is the story about? It's about Pete's dog Larry gets lost in Seattle. There's character Pete, here's Larry. So right there <clears throat> might be the problem. Let's see. Where is Seattle? So here's Colorado. Okay. Here's Washington, Seattle. So quite the distance there. Um, Seattle is in the state of Washington. So here's some fun facts about Seattle. 
Um, Washington State Fairies is one. So here's your key. Okay, over here you have the Seattle map and you have your key. You have numbers and then you have stars with numbers in them. And then you can find them over here. So here's the fairies. Two is the Pioneer Square. Three, ooh, an underground tour. Four is a star. Here it is, the Hammering Man. Five, Quest Field and Safeco Field. I believe those are probably five. Where's five? Here it is. Okay, football field. Six, Pike's Place Market. I've been there. That is fun. You get to see flying fish. That is really cool. Space Needle, seven. Okay, here's a photograph of that. Experience mu Music Project, eight. The Fremont Troll. He lives under a real bridge and he's holding a real car. What? That's nine. Whoa, that is cool. That is really cool. Waiting for ten. Where's ten? Ten waiting for a bus. Here they are. The Lake Union Houseboats is eleven. Right here. Twelve. The locks are big gates that allow boats to go from the lake to the ocean without letting all the water out. That's pretty cool. Here they are. Alki Beach. Alki, Alki Beach. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but right there. And the Smith Tower. 14. Right here. Pretty cool. So, um, the map of Seattle. Here we go. Here we go. This is Larry. This is Pete. They ride together in the back seat. Because their car wouldn't float, they drove their car onto a boat. The ferry takes you across the water. It's pretty cool. Mom and Dad, Pete and Larry, crossed the water on a ferry. Soon the city was very near. The ferry boat docked beside a pier. Hmm, what's this book doing? Larry, ferry, near, pier. Those were what? Come on. Come on, book. Pioneer, Pioneer Square was their very first stop. A real fun place to eat and shop. So it's going to go through all of the landmarks, all of the interesting points that were on our map in the beginning. Just then! There you go. Just then, Larry saw a tree. He quickly bounded up the street, but after running several feet, he realized that he lost Pete. Larry. He searched Seattle's underground, but the friend he searched for was not around. He asked the giant if he'd seen Pete that day, but the giant said nothing. He just hammered away. There's the hammering man. He ran past the stadium where football teams meet. To the baseball field right across the street. So you have Safeco Field, which is the baseball field. And then you have, what was the other one? Safeco Field and Quest Field. It's a football field. Still no Pete. He saw some salmon passing by. Not in the water, but in the sky. This is what I was talking about at um, Pike's Place, the public market. There's flying fish. It's pretty cool. They're not alive. They're dead. Over his head, a silver train raced toward a saucer that seemed to be from outer space. There's a space needle. Even a stranger... The bright, even stranger, the bright colored building next door looked just like a pile of clothes on the floor. Not finding his friend was trouble. 
wobbling, Larry. In fact, things around him were getting quite scary. Oh, what was that? Where's that Joel? He saw some people waiting by the street, but something told him they couldn't help him find Pete. Larry then ran through a strange little town built on the water instead of the ground. Then a big fat, a fat creature blocked Larry's way. Nothing Larry did could make him go away. <laughs> Poor Larry. So have you identified the problem yet? What's wrong? With a running start, Larry leaped, landing on a boat where a sea captain slept. Market, the scary troll, and the Pioneer Square. They're dreaming about all of them. Seattle's a really cool city. You'll notice the map again. There, he went all over Seattle. So, did you identify the problem and Larry gets lost in Seattle? Right down here. What was the problem and Larry gets lost in Seattle? Okay, what was the problem? The problem was stated right in the beginning. Who is Larry, first of all? Larry was the what? The dog or the boy? He was the dog, and Pete was the boy. And the problem was, when they were on their adventure in Seattle, a city they'd never been to, Larry saw what? He saw a treat and wanted it. So he ran for it, but then he noticed that after he got the treat, who did he lose? Okay, he lost Pete, his owner, and he couldn't find him, so he went all over the city in search for him and couldn't find him until... What was the solution? That's what we're doing tomorrow in writing our solution. So again, okay, fictional story. What was the solution? The captain found, he jumped onto the captain's lap and the captain noticed Pete and they were reunited. So that's our solution to our story. So hopefully you enjoyed Larry Gets Lost in Seattle. You identified the problem. Um, that is it for today for reading. Uh, I will be back in a little bit with your math lesson. But don't forget to read, 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 and have a great day. I will see you in a little bit for math. Bye, Smarties.